Year. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy KI Double D Pops here, bringing you another Destiny update where I bring you the latest information in the Destiny Child community. There's going to be a lot of things to cover in this update, but we're going to start things off with all of the free stuff. Alright, so first things first, you need to get Young Boy Horse up to level 50 for the Level Up Project. And when you do, you'll get a thousand free crystals, three five star grade A weapons, armor, and accessory tickets. But you do have to complete this before June 6th. So keep your eye on your mailbox after that. Next is the get a free five star gotcha event due to the half year anniversary that we just hit. I mean it's crazy that we already hit a half year in the Destiny Child game. But what you want to do is you want to head to the Destiny Child global page. I'll leave a link in the description below. You should see a cute little Davi five star get face. Click that and it will take you to another page where you're going to share Destiny Child with the rest of the world. I mean, you should have already been sharing Destiny Child with the rest of the world. But if you haven't, you're going to link your Twitter or Facebook basically to Destiny Child. And also you can scroll down the page to see all the five star gotcha that you can get in this event. All right, so once you choose either Facebook or Twitter, you're going to have to do some account things that you'll see as you go through it. Then after that, you'll be able to do your first poll. And it's going to poll just like it does in the actual game itself in that little browser window that is going to pop up. You're going to do that three times. The first time you get a child that pops up. The second time you get another child that pops up. Then you're going to have two childs on the screen at one time. You're going to choose one child to get rid of permanently and you'll keep the other one. The That one is going to move on to the next round where it goes up against the last pull that you do and then you're gonna basically pick the one gotcha that you want to keep every gotcha that you don't keep is permanently gone so choose wisely on which gotcha you want to carry over i would say go through your child list beforehand to see if there's any child that you want to plus up or if there's any child that you don't have and you could choose whether you want to plus one up or keep a new child that rolls out i mean but all the childs on the list are kind of old so i would say just look to see what you can plus Next, I've actually seen a few people on the Destiny Child Facebook and Twitter ask about the Destiny Child line sticker collaboration thing that they were going on. And basically what you get is rebirth coins in your mailbox. You should have already gotten those coins in your mailbox. But if you're one of those people that just kind of, you know, receives all in the mailbox and doesn't go through to see what's in there just check your rebirth labyrinth to see if your coins went up and last but not least for the free stuff is our weekly pop quiz this week's question is this has been with us at the beginning of destiny child and now it's back for a second time you can get a free five star child you want by sharing posts guess what this is a share gotcha b divine gotcha or c split gotcha i'll leave the answer in the description for the people that couldn't figure it out but hint hint it is one of the free things that i was talking about earlier and if you kind of don't know like where to go to do that you basically hit the menu button in the top right hand corner of your home screen in destiny's child then you're going to want to click support and under when you click support you should see enter promo code and another screen is going to pop up where you enter the promo code and boom you check your mailbox and you get your prize this week for the weekly pop quiz all right so basically on to the updates the venus vacation is here and it's brought a lot of good and so so things with it First things first, we're going to talk about the crossover Venus Vacation story mode, which introduces us to all the DOA girls, and it is fantastic. For one, you get a free Kasumi, a free 5 star Kasumi for just completing the story mode, and the last two levels, stage 5 and stage 4, drops 240 XP and 380 XP, which means they are a great place to level up your gotchas to max. and because they upped the level account to 70 is a great way to get your account level up max too as well. So with that being said, hint hint, a good way to get Horus to level 50. And I would suggest hitting account level 70 pretty soon because dobby has got some brand new challenges for you. Hitting level 70 drops like 3k crystals right on you. And you're going to definitely need those crystals if you're going to pull in the setup summon, which is awesome. RNG Jesus is working his magic in these pulls for people. The rates, I would say, are pretty decent for the event. And I know people definitely want Hanukkah and Marie Rose. So there you go. Some more free crystals. 
Plus, while you're doing all of that, you should be collecting beach volleyballs for the other event that came along with this, the Venus Festival. And basically, you collect beach volleyballs, you can collect five of them per day, and you're going to turn those five in on that day for that day's reward. Up in this 14 days, basically. And the rewards are fantastic. You can get a total of 35 blood gems, 500 crystals, a million gold, and you get another copy of Kasumi. Next, we also got the Mona Emergency Support, like I said a few videos ago that we probably would. And she's bringing some banging rewards. At the end, you get like three or four, I think, no, three Soul Carter cards and a free Marie Rose costume and a five star pull ticket. Fantastic. I'm pretty sure that they're hitting us with all this good good because it's our anniversary and that poo poo last collaboration with Kimono and friends not giving us the free gotcha that JP got and putting one of the dice rolls in the Moa Moa challenge behind a pole on the banners and those banners were split for no reason in global while in I believe in Korea and in Japan they were all one single banner like I know that they treat global like doo doo but that was just that was just being mean all right and the next and final update that i'm going to talk about is the mission pass which i do and don't like because it's like they gave us incentives and other things to do but then hid all the valuable things behind a paywall and what i mean by that is basically the mission pass is i want to say 75 to like 85 80% you know free to play like everything in there the good amount of things in there you can just do by playing the game by playing through the regular story by leveling up by just you know doing dailies basically and then they have the other 25% that are stuck behind a paywall like for instance the Wodan limited time mission the first thing it, it has great rewards you get 2,000 crystals, you get 15 times 3 onyx and a free pull ticket, but you have to pay $43, and that's basically the same exact thing as a Devil's Pass, which personally, I don't find the Devil's Pass bad. I don't find, you know, supporting the devs bad in any way, but to add basically, you know, something else to do in the game and then put some of the you know great or decent rewards behind a paywall is kind of it's kind of messed up seeing as you know they already have the the pay shop and they have you know the devil's pass and the pay shop itself is okay i don't like any of the packages that they have going on because the rates on these packages are crazy like for instance this marie rose package the they have three things that you can get for buying this box they have a b and c a is three copies of Marie Rose, which is fantastic, but that rate is 3%. B, you get two Marie Rose, that's also 3%. Like they couldn't even increase that percentage rate up a little bit. C, you get one Marie Rose and that's at 4% and they finally increased it by one. Like, like what, 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 what? And then D, you just get a five star summon ticket and that is at 90% for that summon rate. That's crazy. And you're paying $43 for this box to potentially get a copy of Marie Rose. I mean, I think I'm pretty sure you get another costume for her when you buy the box, but it's not really worth seeing as they just updated the Rebirth Labyrinth with more costumes in the costume shops that you can buy. And it's like old stuff, like not even old stuff, like recent-ish stuff. Like they added Gambler Jutsu, the Gambler Jutsu, Gambler Jupiter, the female costume for him. And that was like, what? our last last event thing that randomly came into the devil's pass like honestly if you're gonna buy something like that i would just tell most people to just go with the devil's pass because i feel like you get a lot more better and decent rewards for just for paying you know 30 40 dollars 50 dollars on the game i'm not telling you how to spend your money you know i'm just giving you hints and advising you things that i would do if i was spending money in this game not saying that i haven't i have bought you know crystals maybe here or there but at the same time dropping that amount of money to get nothing that that's crazy 
That's crazy. But anyways, back to the mission pass. The mission pass is great. Go through it, see what you can do without paying. If you feel like you want to pay to go get some of the better rewards, you know, do so. I'm not telling you what to do with your money, but hey, tips, just giving tips. And with that being said, that is basically the end of the update. Not the end of the video. What I'm gonna do last last is basically go over, you know, the last the brand new three gotcha that just got added to the game, which is Hanukkah, Marie Rose, and Kasumi. Give my thoughts and my personal opinions on what I think about them. So first off, I'm gonna start off with Hanukkah. Hanukkah is a fire healer. Power 2000 30 well my, my hanukkah power is 2030 health is 2000 attack is meh defense is meh agility is meh crit is meh let's just go to her skills her skill her first skill is receive is basically her auto attack here it goes deals damage and heals for a certain amount for one ally and it prioritizes the lowest health so i would say she's okay because i think most of her skills do that the only thing that throws me off is the rest of the skills add crit damage basically onto it like her second skills i did it uh regain a certain amount of health for two allies prioritizing the lowest hp and for 14 seconds they also gain plus 35 percent skill gauge when critical damage occurs so if you get hit real hard you're gonna gain plus 35 percent crit and you probably are gonna want those to go onto your attackers anyways and i'm pretty sure there are people that do that better her ultimate i do like because it's pretty decent it deals damage for to two enemies randomly and you regain a certain amount of hp but her her as a healer is not that great seeing as matt and sphinx do a lot more better healing and fortitude basically uh but you do get plus 2000 crit for 20 seconds and it applies up to five allies that i do think is fantastic and she'll probably maybe people will use her a little bit in pvp i don't i don't see her being used in pvp at all but you know they they might they might next we're moving on to kasumi hashtag bay hashtag the gotcha that i really wanted so getting her i got happy because i do i'm not even gonna go into her stats because i think it's more random that it, based off of what you equipped onto them and stuff but we will talk about her skills and i think that her skills are pretty decent like in collaboration with another strong gotcha the number one like you know scary people to run into <laughs> eve she does pretty well you know, right so her first main skill is this is it we're not going to talk about her you know auto attack damage one i'm just going to start skipping that this is it deals damage deals an extra bonus damage on poison targets, which is fantastic because I believe his name is Frey. I might be butchering it or his name basically, but Frey pops the dot damage off of E if you use them in conjunction with each other. While Kasumi doesn't pop that poison, she just adds extra damage onto the fact that your the opponent would be already poisoned. So I think that she will actually might show up a little bit in some of the PvP builds because basically the, the PvP builds right now are all basically the exact same thing. Everybody's using Eve, Olga, uh, Sphinx, Matt, and Diana. Those five people usually are going to be recurring in almost all the top teams. I think so, or as far as I know. And her ultimate is she deals a certain amount of damage to four random enemies with an extra bonus 700 damage and gains evasion for 40% for 20 seconds. So that that's crazy. That's crazy. If you basically if you hook her up, I can see her being used in PvP. I think she will actually be a good gotcha because most of the collaboration gotcha don't usually turn out to be lasting gotcha. Like I, if I am correct, I don't think I am. In the Korean version of Destiny's Child, Diana is still one of the best tanks in the game. But I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't pay attention to the Korean meta. But hey, that's saying something. Oh, and I forgot to say, uh, Kasumi is a water attacker, hence why I talked about her with Eve, because Eve is also water, and Cheng E, like, I, like a dummy, I forgot to mention Cheng E, the real reason why PvP is the way it is, all that in conjunction with each other, it'll be pretty crazy. It'll be 
pretty crazy. All right, and next up is trash. It's Marie Rose. She's trash. She's trash. No, 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 no. no. I'm, just, I'm just, I'm completely messing around. I just wanted to make one of my friends mad. I know he is right now. Haha. Ha. Try again. Keep pulling, and you'll get her, fam. Anyways, Marie Rose, I actually think out of all three of the DOA collaborations, gotchas, that personally she's the best, personally. Uh, she does a lot of things that in, I'm looking at this from a PvP standpoint, that's what I do with most gotcha when I get them. I do pl do have like teams that I've made that are just because I like the way those gotcha look, and that's about it. But on the PvP, when I want to get a tiny bit serious, I do have my team that I made specifically to win. And I believe she can do that. She's pretty good. Like her yay, her yay ability uh, deals damage and gains skill damage defense plus 20%. It removes after 24 seconds or upon taking three attacks, but it's a great way to time against certain abilities that will just, you know, eat your health or eat through your shield. I mean, eating through the shield doesn't matter, but eating your health does, you know. Next, let's dance. Deal damage to a target and grant fortitude. Removes after 14 seconds or upon taking two attacks to three allies excluding herself and gains silence evasion for 14 seconds. So she's a wood defender. I completely forgot to mention that, but that's crazy. Her in conjunction with Sphinx would probably be just so, so, so annoying if you can get, you know, her like what, plus three with max 60 yeah that will that will be pretty annoying that they can both just hand out fortitude on a constant basis so you can just juggle between both of them and then on top of that she adds silence evasion so olga is gonna be like out of the out of the question you won't be able to use him next is let the red rose and bloom for blood bloom forth this one is this is this is wild deals damage to two random enemies and grants plus 40 percent defense for 20 seconds and damage over time debuff evasion plus 50 percent for up to five allies basically you can't deal no damage to them or barely any damage whether fortitude is up or not and then the the debuff evasion is crazy that means no whatever it was a curse which is the new debuff that got brought in and then there's basically Eve, so you can't bleed anybody. So I think personally, she's one of the best PVPs gotcha in this. I don't think that they're going to be meta relevant. They might be. I mean, I'm probably going to use Marie Rose on in PVP, but I don't know about everybody else. Kasumi, yeah, Kasumi would be pretty good. I don't think Hanukkah, not so much, especially being a healer and you have Mats and Sphinx, but hey. These are all my opinions. These are all my opinions. Take them all with a grain of salt. All right, guys. And with that, it's time for your boy to head out. So stay lucky, save wisely, and let RNGesus be your guiding key.